today we're taking a 1600 pound safe that's worthless and turn it into something way more valuable, way nicer. You're gonna wanna see it, and in the process, we find 100 year old coins. You're gonna wanna see this, keep watching. So yes, this is a 75 year old safe. It's vintage, it's neat looking, but it's worthless. Nobody wants a 1500 pound, just chunk of concrete. So I'm gonna cut it apart. So I'm hoping to salvage just this middle chunk. I'm betting you this door alone is probably 35 pounds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, that's 35 pounds. Couple of well placed spot welds. There we go. Just try different methods. You can see the wire that's in it. Um, I'd really like to come down to the corners of this, kind of split it off of this somehow. It's kind of what I was working at right here. Just kind of looking at it. So I guess I'll just keep chugging along. Okay, I gotta move these blocks around the corners. So I'll show you these things. This is just a cool little thing. These uh, hand pump wedges, they come under a bunch of different brands. I bought a three pack and they just pump it up. Wedge it under there and it lifted it up, you know, enough for me to move my blocks. And I can put a block under there. So I wanna try to hit this edge off. And let's just let it down, let's see. There we go. We got a crack all the way down the middle. This is actually separated. And we got a crack down that side. Couple big old chunks right there. And a whole bunch of chunks here. I still gotta cut a couple up just so I can move them around easy. Um, I couldn't have done it without one tool and that is this Evolution concrete saw. Uh, I actually had the older version as well. You might have, I might have used that in the video as well. But this one is a new version. Absolutely love it. Cause this one actually has the water. Even though it's winter right now and I can't use the water. I'm actually really looking forward to using the water on it controls all the dust but you can still hook up the vacuum port and stuff like that awesome tools well worth the money but i'll put a link below to this and i'll even contact the company and see if maybe they'll give me a discount code so i gotta cut this off this is actually the bottom 
So there's just a stick weld on two sides right there. I think I'm just gonna plasma cut it off. So I'm just taking some, this is just actually some bed frame rail, some inch and a half by inch and a half. And we're gonna make it a square around it. So to put these panels in, I'm not going to be able to tack weld them all from the inside. So I drilled a million holes so that they can, I can plug weld them from the outside and then grind it smooth so you can't see the, the seam. I'll put this in. But then I had the problem is every time you drill a hole through something you have a burr so I had to reach up in here and just sand it down, centered it down. And I also had the problem that this is bed rail, which if you've ever drilled bed rail, this stuff is kind of a little bit harder than regular mild steel. So if you don't know how to sharpen a drill bit, you need to learn because I had to do about 30 times to drill all the holes in this. What do you think? Is it a fun project? No, because you got to stay out of the garage when I'm grinding, huh? There we go. We got, um, got the back panel on and I got it welded up did the plug welds was able to weld the inside over here it was so heavy i couldn't even shift it around that i actually had to hang it from the ceiling just to take the weight off we got it all it's all squared and then i even put some uh welded some braces in there to hold the back because there's nothing holding the back and there's even uh one up there put some more braces across the top to help deaden any sound and then i'm putting just some fiberglass batting in there. And this will just help increase, it'll deaden a little bit of sound, but it'll help increase like the fire rating. Before I put this corner in, I can put my side panels in. Now I can weld in this corner. Okay, so these two tabs, I have to cut a little bit off of this one. Um, and that would make, so this opening, this hole, is too thin to lock anything really. So I'm just going to cut this one off. And I'm going to leave this one, but I'm going to create a little box up in here. So if you wanted to, you could put a, a padlock or something on this. I'm not going to put wheels on it, but if you put wheels on it, then you could padlock it from underneath. Um, so I'm going to just slice it off. Is a 30 amp Hypertherm Powermax 30 XP. And that'll go over the top and seal off that and then I'll make a little box around all this.
So all those corner braces, I intentionally left a weld bead to look like a rivet. So there we go. Um, I wasn't actually planning on letting these look like rivets, but I'm going to leave them because I think they look good. So I actually added some where I didn't even need it, like around the front um, and even on the back. I didn't, I didn't do any drill any holes, so I just put a bunch there. And they're not perfectly um, spaced, but I think it just kind of adds to it. So now we got to paint it. Okay. Which one? Hmm? Which one? Choose. What color? Is this boring? Home Depot trips are boring. Hey. You supposed to be up there? I don't think so. Okay, let's go check out. Now you're having too, fun. You're having too much fun. People ask me about this all the time. They see in videos where I paint over decals and stuff like that. You see this right here? I'm going to paint over it because you get a better finish um, versus taping it off. I'll show you. Let me paint over this really fast. Okay. Now, gasoline is virtually, doesn't harm virtually any decals, the paint on them. Acetone will, but gasoline won't. So now I just take gasoline and I get a nice corner to my rag. And I'm able just to touch the entire top surface of the decal and paint went under it and everything else. If you tape it off, you're going to end up with little spots, especially if you're changing colors, you're going to end up with little teeny spots that paint didn't get. And it's blatantly obvious that you tape something off versus just doing this. Beautiful. Can't even tell. I know I've said it, the door is heavy. The door weighs 45 pounds. Okay, this is the first time I'm going to attempt to do the combination with a lock like this. I've done it free floating, but the safe is officially locked right now. So let me see if it can be done. And, yep, it works. I did find money with this safe, and I will show you that. Not much, but kind of cool. Let me show you guys. We found a unknown year. The year would be right there at the bottom. Buffalo, 
nickel. Not much value there, but still kind of cool. We found a 1941 wheat penny. And we found a silver. Well, it's either 50 to 80% silver Canadian dime from 19, a centennial from 1967. I don't know if the glare is catching that. So the 16 cents I found is worth more than I paid for the entire safe. So win-win, right? Yeah, go get it. Get it for me. Any one of them. Which one do you got? Oh, thanks. I dropped it. Mm, no, I don't want that one. Give me a different one. No, give me one of these. Give me a big one. That's the same one. No. Give me one of these. Give me one of those. Give me a big one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tie bond. Oh, that should work good. Hmm. Thank you. Can you get one of the one off the top upper shelf? Hmm? Can you get one of these up here? No, one of these up here. Up, oh, no. Oh, that one? <laughs> hmm. That would work too. Now you're just having fun. Hey. I see something that you like. Look, ladder. Can you get up here? You're not supposed to be up there. Hey. Get up there. Come here. Come here. Up. 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 Stay. Stay. Hey. You supposed to be up there?